Good morning, chocolate uppers. I just wanted to start talking to you guys about this really, really cool activity that you can do using the metamorphosis. So if you're interested in the link below, um, there is a link to our Teachers Pay Teachers store that has the instructions, the graphic organizer, um, and the teacher and student instructions um, all included. So here's basically what you would be doing. Um, Gregor Samsa from the Metamorphosis wakes up and he's a giant bug, presumably a beetle or cockroach, something with a hard shell exoskeleton, crazy pincher teeth, and um, his hands are bug arms now. So how can we get students to relate to his situation? Well, you gotta go to the Dollar Tree, especially during Halloween time. They've got packs of um, vampire teeth, 12 of them, for a dollar. Um, there's also packs of 24 at Target for three dollars. Um, so I would want all of my students to be able to experience, especially like the mouth, the pinchers, um, pincers, I mean. Um, <laughs> And so I would want all of my classes to have their own set of vampire teeth because they can't share it. So with that material, that specific one, you have to make sure you have one per student or only allow one or two or three students per group to be able to have those vampire teeth per class. So. Um, whatever is most realistic for you budget wise is what you should definitely do. Um, if you can come up with something else that's creative like getting um, a bunch of carrots and stuffing it in their mouths or cotton balls or something like that so that they can experience the uncomfortable feeling that Gregor now feels. Um, additionally you would be buying oven mitts to have at least you know the two pairs so you have one on each hand um, per group so I always have about six groups, um, usually of four to five students, and uh, they'd be wearing those oven mitts and trying to interact with things, picking them up, and maybe, you know, have them drink one of their wa own water bottles, or you have random classroom items that they have to try to use now as a bug. So, the other thing that you would need are kids boards to put on their stomach and on their back, which makes them a little bit more immobile. Um, and just kind of feeling that hardness, that shell exterior, because people have skeletons, bugs have exoskeletons the majority of the time. So how do you recreate that for students? And the way that I would get those boogie boards on them is either having twine or some nice thick clear tape that us teachers love so much because it helps us hang everything up in our classroom. So the idea is to immerse them into this world, making it feel even more real than it did before um, because it's difficult for especially a lot of our logical, realistic students to really get into a story where this dude is a giant bug. If you are interested in doing something cool like this and having cool questions and a classroom discussion, um, which additionally is in my at the lesson plan that we've created for you um, on our Teacher Pay Teacher page, um, please again check it out. Um, you will see students having so much fun. You can additionally add in like a Flipgrid assignment where they're making a video about their experience. Um, the big thing that's going to be happening is students will be talking in their groups to each other about what they've noted, what they've experienced, and if they, if you didn't have enough materials for everyone to give it a try, then the students in the group would have at least one person who gave it a try that they get to talk to and take notes on and interview and ask questions about how they felt and what they experienced um, at the very very least so um, they have those conversations in the group and then they you're gonna break out and go into your whole group discussion 
All right, guys, you have a wonderful day. Let me know what you think about this activity. Try it out in your classroom um, and check out our teachers, pay teachers page. Um, just search JLA, Juxtaposition League of America. Continue following us and liking and sharing our videos on our YouTube channel, Chalk It Up to Videos. Read the latest on our blogs, chalkitup2crop.com and chalkituptocrop.com slash mom for those of you who are parents and would like some of our parenting articles. Um, and then follow us on Twitter. I am at Jessica underscore Sundasak and my counterpart, Kate Crop, is um, at K Jolly um, at Crop K Jolly 02. Have a wonderful day.